Where's that bus? Hey, can I have your autograph, Elvis? Oh, uh, sure, James. Oh, I see you've got Sam's name on here, too. Yeah. Well, he does save people every day. And he gets to drive around in Jupiter. Still, no more of that for you, eh? Uh, no, uh, I suppose not. Sam! Stop! What's the emergency? There's some trees on fire in the forest. We're worried it might spread. Oh, it sounds serious. Maybe I should come along and help. Well, what about your TV show? Uh, I'm a fireman first, remember? It's Fireman Sam. And here comes Tom. Cool. Everybody okay? I'm feeling a bit weak. Uh, a sandwich might help. Oh, not now, Norman. I guess it's too late to get to your TV show now. Not if you go by helicopter. Jump in, Elvis! Wow! Fantastic! Just like a real superstar! Elvis! Wait! Don't forget this! Good luck! We'll all be watching you! Thanks! I'll be back on duty tomorrow morning! It's a scarlet crested waggle warbler. Don't move, Norman. Penny, you man the station. I'd like to give James his plane back personally. Shall we rescue them the same way we rescue Dolly? Not this time, Elvis. We need to rescue Norman quickly. Then, James, you bring the tarpaulin and I'll bring the ladder. No problem, Sam. Hurry! I can't hold on for much longer. Just let go, Norman. We'll catch you. Uh, whoa! Oh, oh. Wow! That was fun. Stay calm, James. We'll have you down in a jiffy. Thanks, Sam. Oh. I believe this is yours, James Jones. Um, uh, yes. Well, as you put it to good use this time, we'll say no more about it, eh? Oh, thank you, Station Officer Steele, sir. Yes, it was very brave flying it into Ponty Pandy, even though you knew it could get you into trouble. And you were an ace pilot. Almost as good as me when I scared Station Officer Tio. Ah, ha! I might have known. I was only teaching James how to fly. No, you weren't. Well, there's only one thing for it. Remote control, please, James. Thanks, Norman. Now my plane's confiscated. No, James. It's about time someone showed you both how to really fly this plane. Oh. Oh, yes! Uh, <laughs> it's all coming back to me now! Yes! Yes, we turn it up over first! Time! Time! <laughs> <laughs> James and Norman lost at sea? Too 
boys are reported lost at sea. Sounds like a job for Neptune. Might be an idea to get Tom Thomas out in his helicopter, sir. Leave that to me, Sam. You can come too, Lion. I'm sure Bronway must be wondering where you've got to. If they're out there, Sam will find them. We've got no food, no water. <laughs> what are we going to do, James? Calm down, Norman. They must be looking for us. But the ocean is such a big place. We'll be like a needle in a big wet haystack. Bonds and you, Sam. I've spotted them. How they got all the way out here, I'll never know. We'll be with you right away. Thanks, Tom. Roger and out. Sorry, Sam. We fell asleep. That's the trouble with the sea. You never know what it's going to do. Even though you shouldn't have been out here on your own in the first place, lads. But we were being pirates. Let's get you back to dry land. Thank goodness you are safe. So, do you think girls make good pirates now, Norman? Maybe, Sarah. Maybe who? Maybe Captain Sarah. Oh, Bronwyn, I've got a certain lion who thinks he's the fire station cat. He hasn't been a pest, has he? Let's just say he's better off being a ship's cat from now on. Yeah, fishy breath. <laughs> 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 a nice cup of cocoa, Norman. Norman? <gasps> oh, no! He's not touched his eggy toast. <gasps> Oh, he must have climbed out. Oh, the silly boy. Oh, hey, lion. What are you doing out here? Ah, there you go. Now, where's Woolly? Wooly, Norman Danny's way. I see no sheep. Norman! But I can hear Dillis. Norman! Help! My Norman's disappeared. You don't think he's gone looking for Wooly, do you? Oh, you know how he loves that sheep. Fear not, Dillis. Oh! Oh, oh, I'm, uh, I'm sure Penny and Elvis will find him. I'll stay here oh, and keep you company, eh? Oh, thanks, Trevor. But Norman needs me. I'm coming too. Um, OK, Dillis, but you'll have to wear a life jacket. Penny to Sam. I'm going to need your help. Norman Price is out in the flood water. I'm guessing by the field. Right. Uh, I'll stay here, then. Keep a lookout for lions, Sam! I will, Bronwyn! I will! OK. All aboard! Budge up there, lion! I'll soon have you safe and sound. Um, now, keep still, everyone. Oh! Um, uh, hey! What? Whoa! Ah! Oh, uh, ah! Ah! Wally, come back! Boy overboard! Shall we 
we take another sweep of the area, Sam? No need. Down there, look. Sam to Penny. Norman is in Breaker's Field. He's in the water. As quick as you can. Thanks, Sam. There you go, Norman. Where's Wooly? Oh, phew. <laughs> oh, yes, at last. Stay calm, Elvis. This is your big moment, boy. Crab Scuttle Cove. Oh, my goodness. It's a bus. I'm stranded on the beach at Crab Scuttle Cove. And, 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 and the tide's coming in fast. OK. Penny and I will take Jupiter, contact Tom and tell him we'll meet him there. <laughs> Leave it to me, Sam. And well done, Elvis. Nice work. We'll make a station officer of you yet. Station Officer Cridlington. I like it. Absolutely not. That's far too risky. We'll stay put and wait for help. In 200 yards, stay put and... Don't worry. Everybody, Sam will be here very soon. Oh, my belly. Maybe he's seasick. Oh, my poor precious puppet. Aha! It's Tom Thomas. Help is at hand. Come in, Tom. Good night, Sam. Send down the winch. The bus is nearly underwater. We're going to have to lift everyone off. No problem. I'm lowering the double harness now. Right here, home, Mandy. You first. Don't be frightened. Frightened? This is awesome. That's it, Tom. Steady now. Cool. I'll go back for the others. Soon have everyone safe and secure. Good work, Sam. Yeah. OK. That's the last one, Tom. Good job. Thanks, Sam. Over and out. That silly satellite navigation system must be faulty or something. You see? You just can't trust all these newfangled gizmos. But we'd never have been rescued without our mobile phones. Well, well apart from mobile phones. What about our walkie-talkies, sir? Yes, well, obviously, apart from mobile phones and walkie-talkies, but don't you have a computer back at the fire station? Well, yes, yes. Oh, I suppose some modern gadgets do have their uses. Until they pack up and land you in trouble. Oh, I'm sorry, Station Officer Steele. Maybe we should have stuck to your good old-fashioned map. Oh, yes. Well, put it there, is it, eh? And river. Well, it's not too late to enjoy what's left of your day out. Yes, I'm ravenous. Where's that picnic basket? <gasps> What are you a feeling ill, Norman Price? You cancelled the whole picnic! Sorry, ma'am. Oh, someone pass me a bucket. Oh. oh, you naughty boy! Uh, the cake will have to wait. Boy lost in the mountains. Norman Price thinks he knows where he is. Can you stop by the Cup Price supermarket and pick him up, Sam? The map I 
made would have taken Derek this way. He must be around here somewhere. We best turn the siren off in case he's calling for help. Ledger's unstable. We'll have to get him off as quick as we can. We'll work as a team. It'll be just like when we rescued your key, Elvis. Only this time, I'll be the hook. Right, Elvis, you control the winch, and Penny, you give him directions. OK, Fireman Sam. OK, slowly, Elvis. He's nearly there. Now, hold on to me, Derek. We'll be up in no time. Oh, thank you. He's got him, Elvis. Now bring him up. Nice and easy. There we are. Safe and sound. Norman, haven't you got something to say to Derek? Sorry, Derek. I made up the story about the flowers and I tricked you with the map. I just wanted Mum to think I was her only little treasure, not you. That's OK. I understand. It was quite fun, really. You forgive me? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> cool! You've got a hand buzzer! Come on, you two jokers. Let's get you home. And let's get back to my cake. Mike's OK. I need him to sing harmony with me. Don't worry, Elvis. I'm sure he'll be as good as ever. Follow me. Right. He's in here, is he? OK, Mike, I need you to stand back. I'm going to break the door down with my axe. R right you are, Sam. Jump in here, Lion. It'll keep you dry. Shouldn't you shut off the water? I'll get the pump ready. One thing at a time. The first thing we need to do is make sure Mike is safe. Mike, are you a safe distance back yet? Uh, yes, Sam. Grab my arm, Mike. Well done, Sam. Oh, Lion is safe. You did stay very calm. And you did one thing at a time. Oh, I wish I'd done that. I wouldn't have got into such a mess. Don't worry. At least you're safe. Yes. Thank you, Fireman Sam. Come on, Mike. Let's go and do our duet. Uh, wait a minute, Elvis. One thing at a time, remember? Yes, I I'll shut the water off at the mains. Elvis, can you help me get the pump to pump out all this water? And I'll go and get old Mrs Steele out of the <laughs> cupboard. <laughs> then we can all meet at the quayside for Elvis and Mike's big number. Come on, Mike. Come, Come on, Elvis. Elvis. Cock it like the rock gods. Very good. Come on, boys. Splish, splash, I'm, I'm having a wash. Splash, splish, feel like a fish. Splish, splash, I'll be out in a flash. We're doing a splish, splash, shimmy, splish, splash, splash. <laughs> hooray, 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 well done, boys. <laughs> I mean, well done, men. <laughs> <laughs> Norman and Mandy in trouble? Ooh! Ray 
Peter has come back to the Nuts House by himself. Helen thinks there's been some kind of accident. If I know Radar, it must be serious. Tell Helen to keep Radar there. We're on our way. That was close. I wonder if those sheep have got something to do with the emergency. Any idea where Mandy and Norman were going, Helen? Mandy said just over the fields. Radar wants us to follow. I'll take the ambulance. Somebody might be hurt. Mike's van! Well done, Rita! You did it! Mike! Are you okay? I I'm fine, Helen. I just can't get out. The passenger door is still stuck. Oh, Mike! Okay, everyone, stand well back. Penny, run a hose round to the front of Mike's van in case anything catches fire. We'll have to cut you free, Mike. Penny, fetch the jaws of life. How did it happen? Something to do with a couple of runaway sheep, I shouldn't wonder. Yes, I was trying to hurt them into their pen. With radar, eh? I said he wasn't a sheepdog. I know. Here, Mike. Give me your hand. Oh, thanks, Sam. Oh, dear. I wish I could make things better. I'd better call the station and warn them about the sheep. <laughs> well? Good news. Mike Flood had the emergency and he's safe now. Well done, Radar, eh? What a <laughs> hero. Sam did say something about runaway sheep. Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, sir. My hiccups. They're cured. Mike said I needed a fright. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> what? An out of control rocket heading for the high street? Ooh. Come in, Sam. There's a rocket heading towards the high street. This is not a practice run. Don't launch anything until we get back, Mike. Good job we had that training exercise, eh, Elvis? Yeah. So, where's this other rocket come from, Sam? <gasps> Out of space. This has got Norman Price written all over it. the hoses. Penny, you secure the area. Okay, okay Sam. Sam. Everybody back, please. The rocket may be unsafe. Ah, so this is your rocket, eh, Norman? Uh, no, yes, it was an accident. Okay, but right now I need to know how you made your rocket. Is it made from anything dangerous? I, I can't remember. I just did what it said in here. Uh, just more of it. You're sure you didn't put anything else in there? No, just that stuff. Lots of it. It's a simple bottle rocket. It's just a very big one. I think it's all going to be okay. I'm sorry. I thought I could build a rocket that was as cool as Mike's. Mike has spent years learning all about rockets and how to build them safely. It's not something you can learn in a day. I know, Sam. And now I've ruined Mike's launch too. Not necessarily. Once we've made sure the shop is safe, there'll still be time to get up to the cliffs.
Thank you all very much for coming. And a special thank you to the Pumpty Pandy Fire Brigade for being here to make sure everyone is safe. Here, here. So it just remains for me to say... Five, a four, three, two, one! Whoa! It's brilliant, Mike. Thanks, Norman. Hey, remember you said you'd help me make a rocket? Yes, but you're going to have to wait a while, Norman. Why? I've got a certain supermarket window to fix first. It's just you and me, Sam. The others have gone to the flower and vegetable show. That's where we're going, too. Everyone, leave it to the professionals. Sam and Penny are on their way. What's that now? much, Sam and Penny. I had no idea a compost heap could be so dangerous. That's why I advised Mike to dig it over and let it cool down. Mike? Uh, yes, it's true. Mandy kept reminding me too, but I wouldn't listen. I suppose I thought I knew better. But how come the fire started all by itself? When Mike picked the marrow, it created a hole, you see. The compost was already very hot, and when air got into the hole, it started the fire. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I so wanted this show to be a success, and now I've ruined everything. No, you haven't, Dad. I love you, kid. The flowers and vegetables are still intact, aren't they? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, apart from Mrs. Tomato. Great. Then let's get on with the judging. The winner is... The Mustard and Cress, grown by James and Sarah. Yay! Yay! But that's not all. There's an extra prize for the funniest entry. <laughs> the stuck-on tomato plant in the fire bucket. <laughs> Who won that prize, then? Uh, you did, I'm afraid, sir. I'm ever so sorry, but I had a bit of an accident. You what? Oh, Cridlington! <laughs> <laughs> That's not a very dignified way for a firefighter to spend his day off. No time to explain, sir. There's a fire at Dillis' supermarket. A fire? Oh, action stations at last. to have a go on one of these. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you are back, Sam. Wow! Look at all that smoke. It smells like summer meadows. Elvis, switch the electricity off. OK, Sam. Shame all fires don't smell this nice, eh, Penny? So, did you get all your jobs done, Sam? 
no, no, I didn't. Uh, but I saved Mike from the roof. I stopped a runaway bus. I freed Norman from the cement. I ran and skateboarded all the way back to the station to sound the alarm. And I helped put out a fire. Oh, so that's why we didn't have any emergencies today. Yes, Sam was dealing with them all. Well, you know what they say. A good fireman is never off duty. Oh, Sam, we've been having a little chat. Since you gave up your day off to help us, now we'd like to help you. I'll paint your front door, Sam. No problem. And I'll do all your ironing. And Norman here will be digging your vegetable patch for the next three months. Aw, Mum! That's wonderful. Thanks, everyone. Uh, Fireman Sam, when can I have my skateboard back? Your skateboard? In all the excitement, I nearly forgot. I'll just pop back to the station and... Oh, oh, help me! I, I, I can't stop! Oh, As I was saying, a good oh, fireman is never off duty. <laughs> Don't worry, sir! I'm coming to get you! <laughs> <laughs> if you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way for fireman Sam, cause he's